and welcome to another let's play with me Punky Marandi. So in today's video uh, we will be making an automatic wool farm for all 16 colours of wool and also a two tool flower farm um, that will regenerate obviously more of the flowers. First things first I'm just going to grab some leads and separate these sheep. Uh, I've already died and bred. Um, if you didn't know if you die sheep um, when you come to shear them, they'll regrow the same type of fur, the same type of wool, I should say. It's not really fur, it's not a dog, it's a sheep. Um, but uh, with that in mind, it means that you can automate a, a wool farm and just constantly provide the same um, colour of wool for each sheep. So let's get all these uh, hooked up and all separated and uh, just to try and make the process easier later on. Uh, yes, yeah, as you can see, uh, there is 16 different dyes to go to dye the sheep. Most colours will spawn in naturally. Um, obviously, saying that, a uh, pink one is apparently the rarest, but I found it. It will spawn a lot more than other types of colours, and uh, that's just for me personally. So, <laughs> I don't, I don't feel it's as rare as they make out on Bedrock. The rarity, obviously, more the case in Java. I think that's where a lot of the uh, myth comes into it. So I think they're all hooked up now. Um, so let's uh, have a look. I've got everything I need. Mm, let's have a look. So where am I going to... So I've already uh, sort of chosen, I'm going to put the farm around about here. And so, so just start clearing this area out. Using my need to get rid of the mycelium. Hopefully, I'm not interrupting too much like that again. So you just need to get rid of all the mycelium because uh, when you shear sheep, what will happen is they will eat the grass. They eat grass, and that's what makes their wool regrow. So. Have a look. I've got the shears ready for later on. And one glass torches. Don't see any stone block. Uh, stone break. So I'm just going to go grab some stone brick because that'll stop the uh, mycelium spreading into where I don't want it. And then I'll mark out the area and I will be back shortly. And I'm back. So um, I've now got the uh, stone bricks. Sorry about the lag. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to start digging around the area that. Um, start marking out the area for you guys and then dig down so how big is the farm going to be let's put that in sorry about that guys just had a bit of a sneeze there so uh just put the uh, microphone on silent so whilst i'm just laying this out uh, let's just talk about the uh, channel as a whole. Um, if you've been keeping up to date with the channel uh, where you're subscribed, you'll notice that there are uh, quite a few extra videos coming lately. Um, I've decided to start doing more tutorials. With the tutorials, currently, uh, for the series I'm doing the tutorials, currently it's going to be daily, but that's not going to be kept. Um, it will, I'm going to do it try and do daily videos throughout the month of February and then obviously from there I'll see how I go I might have plenty of content to do might not but we'll see the let's play is going to be sticking to a fortnightly basis uh, from now um, and as you can tell it's still in the old format where I'm still doing voiceovers the tutorials have been recorded in new formats I'm hoping the quality of them are is so much better 
Uh, they've also got a new intro and outro. The Let's Play is currently going to stick uh, with the old intro and outro uh, for this episode and the next one, the one after. I'm not going to tell you what the episode's about, but I've already started recording the episode after that. Um, and it is in the new format. And that one will have the new intro and outro. Um, so hopefully the sound quality in terms of, and the play quality for you guys, uh, in terms of let's play, will greatly improve. So yeah, as you can see, I just, even though it's a uh, mushroom bump, I still get played with mobs. So I'm not too sure if you're aware, obviously drowns can get onto the mushroom island because they spawn in the ocean. And above mushroom biomes, the um, phantoms can still spawn. So I'm just going to get filling this in. And so you will see a speed up of playing in a minute. And that's all filled in now. Um, sorry about the audio there, guys. That is one thing that will be fixed with the new setup, <laughs> which is why I'm so glad I've now got a working capture card. I hope it stays working anyway. <laughs> so, um, obviously I'm still going to be doing uh, weekly live streams uh, on YouTube. Um, every Monday at on YouTube, on Twitch, sorry, uh, every Monday at 8 p.m. UK time. So, obviously, Greenwich Mean Time at the moment, and then someone goes to 8 p.m. British summer time. Um, if you're not too sure on the timings of where you are, if you go over to Google, type in the time, and it'll, of course, you'll be able to find out what time that is for you. Um, it's, yeah, 8 p.m. in the evening. Um, in terms of my other live streams, uh, so I'm not 100% not going to be doing other live streams every week. I'm going to try and do them here and there, so they will be sporadic. So if you do uh, follow me on Twitch, you'll get notifications when I go live on there. Um, I've not tested like doing live streams to YouTube yet, which might be something that comes later down the line. The oh, so I'm just gonna start obviously in the video here building up where you would do the um how you would do the wolf hop. So if you place one chest down and then you'd need to place two hoppers behind it as a minimum. It's just where your it needs to be the block below where your ship are gonna be. Uh, two blocks below, so where your ship are gonna be. And then on that block you will need to put a um, rail and this will be for the minecart hopper and there's a reason you would use a minecart hopper over a um, over a uh, normal hopper and the reason for that is it's my hoppers are much better at picking up items and they will pick them up uh, under full blocks uh, as far as my grass is considered a full block um, which is why this method works so let's go grab another grass or leave it as grass don't know what i'm doing now <laughs> Yeah, I think grass there. I don't know why I did that to be honest. You'll see later on that that block's not really needed. So let's get all this uh, lined up. So the, the setup here will be the reverse of what you would do for a sugarcane or bamboo. Uh, sort of farm. So generally on a sugar cane bamboo you'd have the observer in the taller block. So on this one what you'd do is place the observer facing the grass block that the sheep uh, will be standing on. 
and then the dispenser also going into the um, same area so I'll try and explain it in a minute when I can get back over there um, but yeah you just need the block behind the dispenser with redstone on there which will power the dispenser and then you just need shears in the dispenser let's grab some shears do I see this is why I want to get away as well from the air voice over because I do tend to forget what I've done um, I, I can do all the transcripts I'll want I'll what rewatch the video recording and then still do transcript and still forget what I've done whereas the new setup is a lot more natural and you will realize that when uh, you're watching as well so yeah so what will happen is uh, with the sheep when it's in the center it will eat the grass the observer will detect that grass middle grass block being eaten um, which will then send a pulse out to the dispenser which will then shear the sheep and then over time uh, as soon as you've got that grass block surrounded by other grass blocks and uh, grass grass blocks it will grow so over time it will regrow sheep will then re-eat the grass and get re-sheared making this a fully automatic farm a uh, fully automatic afk farm so i'm just going to continue building this up some more bits Okay, and now time for the uh, painful part of the uh, video, getting the sheep in there. So just going to make your way across right at this point. If you've bred the sheep, um, they will not despawn. Any animals you breed don't despawn. The originals may do, yeah, occasionally. But it's con it's considered as effective as a name tag if you bred them. Um, so let's get this in here. This is always a long and painful task to do. Um, same as working in television, just don't work with animals. <laughs> That's what I say it's the same applies to Minecraft. As you can see. Let's have a bit of um problem climbing up the uh, steps there. Um, just whilst I'm at it. Obviously this is before the most recent update. So this did have the issue with the entity and you will see that later on. Um, where the entities appear where they're not. Which also made this job much, much harder. Sheep in here. I'm going to show you this is much easier after the hot fix because <laughs> of the issues I, I was running into. Uh, also, at this point in time, it this point in time it was not a realm. Uh, my world is actually a realm now. Um, and it's a whitelisted realm, so you would have, so you would actually have to be invited. Play, you can't just hop on. And I have got just a few trusted friends on there at the moment. And I've got to say, since it's been made a realm, and since they've all joined it, the world has become much better. <laughs> and it's a, it just feels more complete. Whereas a single player world to me, since doing, looking back on it, a single player world looks a bit. Or feels a bit better at times. Okay, that's going to go in. Sure, I ended up relogging for this because of an issue I had. Yeah, as you can see, it does 
does not want to go down into the one by one hole. I can assure you they do fit in one by one holes. Come on, get in there. No, it is going to be a complete and utter pain. I don't know why that is. Oh, I will eventually go in there. Whilst it is going in there, what I'm just going to do is Yeah, what I'll do is I'm just um, going to run through sort of like these different colours uh, in terms of uh, different colours that you get in Minecraft. So, but let me just so you, you can tick them off your list um, when you when you do it. So the colours you have in Minecraft are white. Now the white dye is obtained by combine uh, by bone mill, so you can turn bone mill into white dye. However, you do not need to do that. You can just use bone mill as white dye. It's, it's a completely pointless recipe, if you ask me. Uh, you've then got light grey, which is a combination of grey and uh, either white dye or bone mill. And the other way to get that recipe is two white dye or two bone mill plus a black dye. The grey dye is just a combination of black and white as you would kind of expect. And then you've got the black dye. Mm. Black dye is obtainable in two ways. Uh, fighting the wither on hard walls uh, make it shoot out wither. R the wither rose which can be turned into black dye. Uh, the other way is by killing uh, squids they will drop black uh, they will drop insects which you can use as black dye or turn them into black dye so you then have yellow oh, sorry not yellow we've gone to the next color yellow will be later on so brown uh, as far as away there's only one way to obtain brown dye uh, and that is with cocoa beans uh, cocoa beans you pretty much Place them on jungle wood, it has to be jungle wood. Uh, it cannot be the planks, cannot be the strip version, it has to be the full version and only jungle. Um, you place one cocoa bean on there, it'll grow into a bigger size one, which will drop, I believe, three to four, might just be three. And you've then got pink dye, which is a combination of red dye and white. Uh, you then got the red dye, so the red dye itself um, you can get from red oh, is rose and there is another red flower, red flower, I cannot remember which one, um, but the red, the rose you will see later on, which will, is one of the ones that you can bone mill to get extra turn it into a two tall wallflower farm. Okay, you've then got orange. So orange will come from red and yellow. And um, there is a flower that does orange, I cannot remember which one to be honest. Then you've got the yellow. Uh, most effective way of doing the yellow one is through sunflowers, which is the two tall one. I believe it's daisy is the smaller one. Uh, which is a bit more of a pain to do as a flower farm. You've then got lime dye, which is a combination of white and green, I believe. I will just uh, double check that. I can not remember. So, yeah, I'm just doing this off hands to, <laughs> to fill a gap. Um, is it white and green, or is it? No, it's yellow and green. And then you've got the green dye, which is um, you can 
get a green dye by growing cactus and then smelting the cactus uh, in a furnace oh did not know that just looking up on the minecraft wiki as uh, whilst i am filling the gap in the video here and you can actually do sea pickle to get lime dye something new i've learned So I believe this is roughly well relogged because I realise that there you go. yeah you can see sheep is staying still um, and the Minecraft just travels through it and I have no idea why I've done that so yeah I had to relog to be able to get this to work And then you'll see when you when I logged in, the sheep was no longer uh, an entity issue there. When it loads, I'll get back onto the dies. So yeah, you can see it wasn't actually where I'm trying to get it. And it was sort of like off the end. So uh, let's get back to the uh, dyes. It's what I'm doing. So we talked about the green. Then you've got the cyan dye, uh, which is a combination of the blue dye and uh, the green dye. You've then got a uh, light blue dye, which is a combination of blue and white. You've then got the blue dye, uh, which you generally uh, get from a lapis lazuli. There is a purple dye, which is a combination of I want to say blue and red. 99% sure it is blue and red. Let's have a look. And there will be lavender, I think, is the other way to get it as well. So it's loading in. So, yeah, blue and red dye. So one blue dye, one red dye gives you two, or one lapis lazuli, one red dye gives you two. Um, and there's no other way to get that other than crafting it. Um, and then last but not least, the last colour you have is magenta. Now that, I know there's a couple of different ways to get it. So this crafting recipe is pink and purple. Um, pink dye, purple dye gives you two, or one blue, one red, one pink gives you three. Um, alternatively, one blue, two red, one white gives you four. <laughs> now it's going to be complicated. <laughs> um, and the other way of getting it is using the allium uh, flower, which is just a one tall flower. There is a peony flower as well. What was that one for? Oh, we've got lilac as well, which is too tall for magenta. I'm just going to look at the peony. That might be purple. Because that one is a too tall flower. So, whilst I'm here, I say flowers. So yeah, black dye can be crafted from wither rose. Cornflower does blue dye. Blue orchid does light blue. Azure blue it. Oxy daisy or the white tulip does white dye. Allium does the magenta. Lilac does magenta. And we've only got the orange tulip for orange dye. Pink tulip for pink. Peony does pink. I knew there was peony, but I just can't remember which one. Then it's the poppy or red tulip for red, as well as the rose bush. Lily of the Valley for white, and then Dandelion or Sunflower for yellow. So yeah, they're all the uh, different types of flowers. What I will do for this episode is I'll actually put the link of the flowers in the description below, because I'll talk about, obviously, the flower farm later on. Um, so you know different flowers there, as well as so you know how to get each dye as well. Um, it's just something that may help 
you guys reference uh, down the line as to what is best for you. So, so get back to the video. And I believe I'm just going to try and get the rest of this farm built in there uh, over a short period of time. So yeah, you can see it's currently working as well. Um, and it's just a case of just repeating this over and over again and getting this farm done. And the farm is now done. All 16 colour walls are in there. I've done the colour stripes on the outside just to display which wall is where. Um, and this is one thing I hate about the old recording setup is this repeated quick recording. And that is all down to, it's not down to the uh, video editing software. It's me obviously not picking out that it's done it, but it's also the Windows recording software. Just not good enough. Yeah, that's why I've switched over to the uh, new setup. So now we are going to get on with building the flower farm. This is much more simple because I'm not having to work with moving entities. And will be hopefully a lot more enjoyable for you guys to watch if it doesn't keep lagging out and the sound doesn't keep going. So you are going to need for each farm uh, a so you can need for each form a um, comparator, redstone repeater, redstone, hoppers, and chests, as well as the flower themselves. Okay, so let's get this. So with these farms, as always, I will always mark out the bottom first, get out of the way, and then chest going into it. And because it's going to be a grass block on top, it's going to be a minecart hopper again. But this one I can uh, make, make it look a bit better because I haven't got to worry about um, the sheep themselves. That'll make it a bit easier. So yeah, you can always... Cover one of them. Always covered up with stone. And um, what I'm just going to say here is the reason I'm not using a barrel to hide it even more is I've got a future plan on this uh, area, which I've not even started recording yet. So let's get that mine got a hopper in there, and then same again, the uh, grass block on top. And that sound is terrible for the gameplay. Uh, so glad. I now have OBS recording for me uh, in the new setup. Uh, so yeah, I've got one more video where the audio will be terrible, and then after that, it will be greatly improved. You, there is going to be a slight difference. There is a downside to the new setup. It's not. Something that's overly bad, it's for me personally, it's I would prefer to have this downside over all the positives I'm getting. So, the downside is the um, my skin that is literally the only downside I can find it at the moment. So, with the skin, it's on a my current skin is saved on my PC. I'm running the new one through the Xbox to get the recording just right. So the laptop's not having to handle the game and recording at the same time. If I can find a way to do it for my laptop, I will. Um, I've got a way I'm going to be testing soon, but it's not going to be a long-term thing. Um, I'll be using my son's PC. He's got an old one that's been reconverted over. So hopefully that's something that I can um, get sorted. Just had a thought here. 
why the hell did I just not put a bit of redstone in one of the corner blocks? If I'm encasing it, that would mean that if I'd done that, it would have been less redstone and less repeaters used, and you wouldn't have been able to see it from the front. Ah, what a fool. I can't wait for the day that you can get custom skins on Xbox. Well, there's one thing I don't understand really with that is... Obviously Minecraft brought out... Uh, Microsoft have brought out Minecraft. You have to use your Microsoft account to sign in. However, why don't they just... They've got the ability with Java to log on to the Minecraft.net website. And use the skin that way. Surely they could have some form of way of doing that on the um, Bedrock version. Just use the server to apply a skin. But say it'll only let you have one slot. It's bad. I've got a way of thinking a way that Microsoft would probably do it. And it is a bad way of doing it. And that would be having... How was it? And that would be putting it into the case of Yeah, so with uh, there you go, I see it going now. The uh two tall flowers putting in there. So yeah, the way I'd say the bad way is Microsoft adding microtransactions to add extra slots so that is uh, all done for today uh the farm's now all built up i've got peony the lilac the rose and then the sunflower so we've got four different colors coming out um just drop a break in here all, de all fully decorated in here all lit up Obviously this is going to be a bit of a theme, the never brick and stone brick. And all you do is place the bone mill in it. If you are struggling placing bone mill in because of lag and you end up with your... where well, you're placing it in there but it's going back into inventory, swap the chest over for trap chest. That will stop that. Uh, as I've recently done on my sorting system, it stopped all that. So... Obviously, what I'm going to say for now is keep an eye out on my Twitch channel. There will be a few extra live streams for some of the major projects. Uh, currently, I'm having a resource gather for a new base, um, which will be in the upcoming episodes in about a couple of months' time. I'm hoping there's going to be bits and pieces that's going to be spread out over a couple of months anyway, because it's going to be a huge base. Uh, storage system is going to be about three to four times the size of what I've got now. Um, so it's going to be resource gathering for that. So strip mining to get a lot of iron. Um, and hopefully I can get... Okay, it's all being spread out evenly. Yeah, so I just need a ton of iron. I need a ton of wood as well for the storage area. So each item is going to have twice the amount of storage as well. On top of the four times the amount of items. I'm going to try and plan it so um, some of it's going to be only new items. Some of it's going to be uh, only non-stackable. And that's all going to get sorted. So I am going to call it here, guys. Um, that's pretty much all I can do for today. I've only got one more episode in this old format and then I'll be on to the new one. So 
So I'll see you in the next Let's Play. Goodbye.